Hi everyone, it's Luke from Makers Empire. Thanks for joining me. Here at Makers Empire, we make a great 3D printing learning program for K-8 schools. It includes software, lesson plans, a teacher's dashboard, professional development and analytics. Today we're going to be unboxing the new Up Mini 2 and getting it set up ready for printing. If you'd like to know more about the terminology that I'll be using in this video, check the video description below where there's a link to a video explaining all the terminology. So the first thing we need to do is remove the box from within this big box. Then we can open the top of that. On the very top is some foam and some samples of filament. These are a mixture of PLA and ABS. For school use, you'll only be using PLA and it's easiest to use full rolls of filament rather than these loose coils. Underneath that is some paperwork and the print beds for the printer. Feel free to read through the quick start guide before continuing. Next, you can remove this brown box. We'll unpack this in a moment. You can then remove the large piece of foam below, which should reveal your printer and the filament caddy beside it. You can take both of these out and remove the plastic wrapping. So this is the Up Mini 2. The first thing you need to do is open the back door and remove three pieces of foam from inside. Moving over to the filament caddy, to remove the cover, simply squeeze the tabs on both sides and lift vertically. If you remove the filament from inside, you'll notice that this is a roll of ABS plastic. It will be printed with PLA plastic, most likely included with a bundle, and so we'll put this roll of ABS aside. Next, we're going to unpack the little brown box. The first thing you'll find is a pair of gloves. These are good if you're handling anything that's hot. Next, you'll find some safety glasses. After that, you'll find the power brick. Next is a USB cable, and the bag containing the PTFE tube and some spare parts. Next is the power cable, then comes the extruder. Next is the paint scraper. This will help getting things off the platform if they're stuck too well. And finally is the orange handled flush cutters. The first thing to do is take the extruder out of its bag. We can then remove the top panels of the Up Mini 2 like so. There may be some helpful instructions inside the printer. But if not, you simply line the lugs of the extruder plate with the gaps in the printer's carriage, push back gently and push down firmly until you hear it click into place. Then you may plug in the rainbow cable that sits above the extruder, like so. Now's the exciting part, let's plug in the printer. All you need to do is connect the power cable to the power brick, plug it into the back of the machine and then turn it on. It'll take a few seconds to start up, at which point you can click initialize on the touchscreen LCD at the front. You don't have to do this for every print, only every time you switch on the printer. Next up we need to calibrate the printer. You can do this by clicking calibrate on the LCD touchscreen, and then clicking auto. The printer will then move the nozzle above the calibration tool and the platform will rise. You should only need to calibrate once. If you have trouble with your calibration, you can email me at luke at makersempire.com and I'll help you through the process. For future reference, if your Up Mini 2 is plugged into a computer, the LCD on the front will be unavailable. Next, we need to put some filament into the printer. First off, you'll need to take a roll of filament out of its bag like so. Then, unhook one end of the filament, making sure not to let go. Simply drop the roll into the filament caddy so the filament is coming from underneath the roll, not the top. Take the tube found in the spare parts bag and slide it over the end of the filament until some is poking out of the end. You can then seat this tube in the rubber grommet at the front of the filament caddy. Install the lid and you're ready to go. Before feeding the plastic into the printer, it's always best to get the orange handled flush cutters and cut a bit off the end. This will get rid of any sort of crooked bits of plastic or any bits of plastic that aren't quite perfect. Then to feed the plastic into the printer, we need to take the top covers off once more. You can then position the filament caddy at the back of the Up Mini 2. Take the tube and feed it through the hole at the very top of the back door. Feed it underneath this black bar, over the extruder, and then feed it into the top of the extruder, like so. From the LCD touchscreen at the front, you can click Material. Select what plastic you'll be putting into the machine. So we are putting in a roll of PLA plastic. And then you can click the down arrow to extrude the filament. The printer will need a few minutes to heat up. And when you hear a beep, it'll start feeding the plastic through. 
At this point, it may need a little bit of pressure simply to grab onto the plastic. You can then put the top panels back on and close the back door. The final thing to do is plug the USB cable into the printer and then connect it to a computer. Your Up Mini 2 is now ready to go. If you're ready to send your first 3D print, you can find in the video description below a video explaining how to do so. I'm Luke from Maker's Empire, thanks for joining me. If you'd like some more information about Maker's Empire or our 3D printing learning program for K-8 schools, check the video description below. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.